Hey, what's going on? Nate here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And inside this video, you're going to be learning about how to utilize Pinterest to build your business. You know, if you came to this video, you came here for a reason, you're probably looking for solutions on really just anything, really maybe just to uh, generate leads on Pinterest. Maybe you heard about the buzz about Pinterest. Uh, maybe you're looking to build your business using Pinterest. Well, you came to the right place because I'm going to share with you in the next few minutes why Pinterest is powerful, why, you know, not a lot of people are using it because I've been on Pinterest now for about three years and uh, is a powerful platform that a lot of marketers are not really uh, using to its full potential. So you're watching this video, you're going to learn something. I'm also going to share with you a tool that I'm using um, and some, you know, strategies that I'm using to build uh, my business online using Pinterest. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this. I know your time is really, really valuable. So I appreciate you spending some time with me as you learn how to use Pinterest. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this. And this is all about how to utilize the power of Pinterest using Pincredible marketing, right? Pretty catchy, right? Because that's really what this training is about. Because, you know, a lot of marketers and a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs are on Pinterest, but they think that using Pinterest is just about posting pictures. Well, you can drive massive amount of traffic using Pinterest. You can get leads. You can, you know, post your videos and get more views for your YouTube video. I mean, it's super, super powerful. Unlike other, you know, platforms, you know, a lot of engagement comes from, you know, looking at pictures because a lot of people in this world, um, including myself, are visual people. Most people either like to watch things um, in a form of a video or they like to look at pictures rather than reading text, okay? So, we're going to dive into this real quick, and the question you need to be asking yourself, and one of the questions that you need to really just kind of immerse yourself in and think about why you're watching uh, this video is why Pinterest marketing should be your top strategy for this year, okay? You're probably thinking, well, why Pinterest? I mean, you're talking big about Pinterest. Why should I be using it? Well, did you know? That is the fourth most used social media site out there. Okay, that's powerful. I mean, you probably didn't realize how powerful Pinterest is. I mean, the fourth, you know, most used social media site. Okay, Pinterest has over 70 million users right now. 70 million and half a million of those 70 million are verified accounts. Okay, meaning that, you know, Pinterest takes uh, verified account very seriously because, you know, probably you uh, you noticed on, you know, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, there's a lot of people out there creating a lot of fake accounts and there's not a lot of verification going on. And that's one thing that I love about Pinterest is the fact that you can verify your profile and lock that down, right? So the average Pinterest user spends about 98 minutes a month on Pinterest. So if you think about that, right, imagine if you're promoting a product or service or whatever, you know, you know, your businesses or services that you provide for your marketplace. Imagine people landing on your Pinterest profile and spending, you know, 98 minutes a month, maybe looking at your stuff, seeing what you have to offer, right, what you're offering to the marketplace, what are you, what are you offering in terms of value, right? Because that is one of the most powerful ways that you can use Pinterest to drive traffic wherever you want your uh, your audience to go to. Okay, and last is um, on this is that the average amount per order that derives from Pinterest traffic is anywhere between one hundred and forty dollars to one hundred and eighty. So, as you can see here. Pinterest is really, really profitable. I mean, this is one of the things I'm about to tell you. I'm going to really unload and really get you thinking about, you know, why you should be using Pinterest, okay? Because, again, 
I started using this about three years ago. And, you know, when, when I first started using Pinterest, I thought it was kind of silly. You know, why would I be using this where Facebook and Twitter are leading, you know, uh, the, the race, I mean, the war in social media. But, you know, the thing that got me thinking is why am I going to go with the status quo? Why am I going to follow where all the people are at? Why not focus on a different platform or medium where not a lot of people are crowding the marketplace because you can attract different types of people. See, like Facebook, mainly Facebook, um, you know, you tend to target the same amount of people, kind of like a, uh, a Ferris wheel, and people tend to get in t inside of e each other's cobwebs, if you will. You know what I mean? So it's always something that keeps revolving over and over. So that's why the Pinterest audience is a lot different than the Facebook audience. You get a lot of people who are on Pinterest that aren't really a fan of Facebook, and that's powerful. So imagine if you can tap into 70 million uh, users on Pinterest, well, you don't have to worry about having competition like you do if you were on Facebook, okay? So is Pinterest a good fit for your business? Well, let's see. The questions you need to ask yourself, you know, and are you a part of any of these niches? You know, are you in fashion? Are you in art? Are you in, you know, home decoration, photography, travel, food, or, you know, travel, right? And, you know, the things you want to realize is that, you know, does one of these niches fall under one of these categories? And I want you to check this out. You don't have to do this now. Just write this down on a piece of paper, or if you need to watch this video again, you can do so. But you definitely want to check out Pinterest.com forward slash categories. And I'm going to go into that right now so you can kind of take a look at that. So this is uh, Pinterest.com forward slash categories. So imagine for a second you are a marketer, right? Think for a second that you're not in any particular you know, niche or industry, okay? So imagine tapping into this. It's like 70 million people on one single platform, okay? These are all the different niches that you can tap into. And the thing is, if you are like myself, you believe in abundance, right? I mean, there's a plenty of abundance to go around. There's no competition because, you know, no competition is alike. That's why most people are not alike, right? Just like your fingerprint. You can't find identical uh, fingerprints. So what that means uh, metaphorically here with Pinterest is that whatever niche you decide to get into, you're not going to have that much competition, okay? So again, what I was mentioning earlier, art, you know, if you're into cars and uh, motorcycles, if you're into art, okay? Hair and beauty is a huge uh, niche, you know what I mean? But not a lot of people in that niche are marketing correctly, right? Imagine what you know now, you know, from all the training from Facebook, Twitter, you know, Instagram. Imagine if you applied that, um, you know, to Pinterest. You know, you would blow away the competition. That's why I don't really worry about having competition at all on Pinterest, okay? You know, again, uh, film, mu uh, film, music, and books, food and drink, gardening, uh, health and fitness, all that stuff. So these are all great um, categories, which I like to call niches that you can get into, that you can tap into when it comes to building a business. Again, you know, if you're passionate about a particular industry, um, you know, you definitely want to check this out. Okay. So let me go back here for a minute. So again, check that out, Pinterest.com. Uh, four class categories, right? That's a great resource to kind of go back and check out the different categories that Pinterest has to offer. So does your business create images for your website? Okay, so here's some of the facts that you need to know. Pinterest, okay, is ideal for businesses with visual products. Like I said earlier, a few minutes ago um, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that, you know, you'll get the most engagement um, by doing visual versus text or auditory, okay? So most people, including myself, are visual people. So again, when I said that images and videos or something of type of motion where people can look at, get the most engagement, okay? And that's what Pinterest is all about. It's all about, 
you know, sharing uh, pictures, photos, art, you know, video, stuff of that nature. And that's why Pinterest is great. It's great. It's beautiful when you look at it, how it's laid out, okay? And you get potential customers and loyal customers that will pin from your website if there are images for them to pin. So this is what's great about Pinterest, right? There's really no competition because if you're in a space like a niche or industry and you share the same space with your quote-unquote um, competition, it's not really competition because you really need other uh, pinners or other Pinterest users to do you know, the same thing that you're doing where you're sharing images, you're sharing this stuff, you're pinning this, you're pinning that, you're sharing that, sharing that, okay? So that's why, you know, it's very reciprocal on Pinterest because, again, no competition. So you think about that, right? I mean, let's just say uh, your competition was competition, they're not competition anymore, okay? So that's why everybody on Pinterest is such a great community because we're all in it together. So can you create an image based on your content online? Okay, so right here, yes. Okay, so businesses should consider alternatives to help build their brand. Okay, so if you're not sure about what branding means, um, I'm going to save that in a conversation in itself, but you probably heard about branding or you know about the, the basics of it. Okay, so I don't want to dive too much into it. So the great thing about, you know, Pinterest when it comes to building a business is all about, you know, visual, social proof. People want to see results. People want to see if there's an end game or end goal. Okay, so stuff like testimonial, infographic, do it yourself display product in use in a setting or a demo, right, with the demonstration, uh, create create quotes that will reflect your business, videos and behind the scenes, okay? So right now, I'm going to go ahead and share with you um, a, a, a course that's really, really powerful if you're really serious about you know, taking your Pinterest business to the next level. Actually, I'm sorry, if you're really serious about taking your business to the next level and you're looking to leverage um, Pinterest as a as a tool, you definitely want to take a close attention to to this next uh, thing I'm going to be sharing with you called Pincredible Marketing, okay? Pincredible Marketing uh, just came out. I just got a chance to really dive into the back office, which we'll see in a couple seconds, but it's super powerful. A lot of the stuff that they teach is stuff for people who've never used Pinterest before. That's why, you know, a lot of people won't use a social media site because of something they're unfamiliar with, right? They may be uncomfortable because they're so used to using uh, Facebook. Maybe they're so used to using Twitter, whatever. You know, that's just human nature for you, right? Humans don't like change, but imagine this. The more uncomfortable you get, the more changes that you make in your life and your business, the more results that you're going to get, okay? So a tip for you, aside from Pinterest, is that when you're building your business, just do what's uncomfortable. Don't do, um, you know, what. don't conform with the status quo. Don't do what other people are doing. Doing what your heart desires, like follow your heart. And if you have an idea, if you're excited, just go with that because the thing is, you don't want to be like everybody else. You don't want to copy everyone else what everyone else is doing. And that's what people are doing these days. They're copying other people rather than following their heart and creating their own ideas, okay? So with Pinterest, I'm telling you, you definitely want to dive into this course called Pin Pincredible Marketing. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into um, the back office here. So this is the training uh, that you get. I mean, the value alone is incredible. I mean, again, I've never seen a Pinterest course like this that's really in depth. I mean, a lot of the step by step, because again, you know, if you're unfamiliar with Pinterest or maybe you're brand new to online marketing, this is the course for you because again, everything is laid out very simplistic, very, um, you know, that anyone can learn, right? I mean, it doesn't matter your skill level, it doesn't matter your education level, 
this applies to everyone. There's no one size fits all. It's everybody that can do it, okay? So some of the things here which you'll learn in module one is the pincher foundation, right? I mean, these are just really the basic. Um, I kind of covered this in the beginning of this video. So just to kind of give you more in depth, you can watch these videos to really get the understanding the uh, psychological effect of why you should use Pinterest, okay? And, you know, in module two, right, this is where, you know, we start talking about the mindset of, uh, you know, uh, Pinterest, right? You know, where are you now? You know, how to set up your Pinterest business account, that's important, right? The do's and don'ts of Pinterest marketing, because again, you don't want to dive into a platform like Pinterest and not know what you do, right? You want to have, you know, um, an authority expert teaching you exactly what you should be doing instead of what you shouldn't be doing, right? I mean, the thing is, if you want to shortcut the shortcut to having success, learn from the people who already made the mistake and don't copy that, right? Okay, so, you know, strategies to optimize your website for Pinterest marketing, uh, how to optimize for Pinterest search. So those two things alone is powerful because, again, when you have a business online, the whole idea of doing the marketing side is to get the eyeballs on your product or service. You want to be exposed. You want to get the exposure. You want people to see what you have to offer. They, and you also want them to see the value and why they should buy your product. You know what I mean? Again, it's not about, you know, making sales. It's all about, you know, a customer that lands on your Pinterest profile or your images. And, you know, maybe they have a problem and you're there to solve the problems. Okay. Uh, in module th uh, three, you know, where are you going? You know, how to use Pinterest to research your market. You know, how I was saying earlier, you know, uh, once you dive into the categories, you can really dive in and really define your customer avatar and really learn, um, you know, the mindset of what your customers are really looking for. Uh, how to use Pinterest to profile your competitors, uh, recommendations on who to follow on Pinterest. And that one is super powerful. And you know why? It's because, again, you don't want to be out there in the dark and just doing whatever, right? You want to, you know, follow the people. You want to follow successful people that you want to model, that are doing it right, that are having the success that you desire. So naturally, it makes sense for you to follow the successful people uh, or actually the successful marketers on Pinterest, right? So module four covers, you know, how will you get there? And it's a long list of things. Uh, this is really when it starts to really get in depth, you know, how to get more engagement, uh, how to optimize your pin for maximum traffic. Again, you know, that's why traffic is so important. That's why using Pinterest is to get the eyeball, to get the traffic to you know, wherever you want your uh, your customers to go to, okay? Types of pins that you can use for your business, creative tips to get more followers. I mean, everybody could use more followers, right? You know, how rich pins work for pricing, creating the perfect uh, Pinterest images to get your brand noticed, uh, understanding Pinterest analytics. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I'm not going to get into it um too much in here, but you can kind of see just from looking at this how in depth this course is and why you definitely need it. And if you're thinking right now, well, yeah, Nate, you know, this sounds great. You know, how do I get a hair? How do I get a hold of this? Well, stay tuned for in a couple minutes. I'm going to give you um, a link uh, below this uh, URL where you can get your copy at a uh, at a good price, lock your price in and, and stay at that price forever. So stay tuned for that. Uh, continuing on, some bonus interviews from people who are experts and authorities in Pinterest, you know, and that's really, again, you want to learn what successful Pinterest marketers are doing, okay? And Pinterest case studies, you want to know, does Pinterest really work? You know, I understand, like, all the... Um, the, the stuff that you share with me, but, you know, how do I really know that Pinterest does work? Well, here you go. You know, you can see how Pinterest is used for affiliate marketing, and you can discover how the travel industry uses Pinterest. So, again, if you're not in the travel industry, it does not matter. I mean, it doesn't matter what the niche is. What's important is the 
the business model, the principles, the philosophies, okay? You just want to model that and apply it to your own, okay? So moving on here, so um, are you on Pinterest? Because if you are, you know, definitely follow me on Pinterest. It's Pinterest.com forward slash Nate Leung. And as I start to wrap things up, I know I promised you a link where you can purchase this course. So my next question for you is, are you ready to take action? So if you are, and I will also leave this uh, link below this video too as well. Uh, you can click on it, take a look at it, but I definitely recommend it. If you want to really uh, take your business to the next level and uh, not worry about what other people are doing, if they're all, all on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you want to be playing on another field where not everybody's playing out, right? I mean, that's the smart thing to do, not conform to the status quo. So again, NateLeon.com forward slash Pincredible Marketing. And uh, here's what you'll get uh, before I close this out. Going back to the sales page. And uh, let's see here. Let me scroll up here. And you'll see this information right here. All this right here. Once you um, once you click on the link, you'll be able to go through this page, learn more information before you decide to buy. But if I were you, I would definitely uh, recommend that you buy it. So um, I'm not going to go through this uh, too much, but you can take a look at it yourself. Again, go to nateleung.com. Uh, forward slash Pinterest, and you'll be glad you did. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. I hope you found value. It's my sincere uh, honor to really serve you and give you the information that you need. So again, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, visit my website often at nateleon.com. And until next time, let's win together.